Oh shit, what's going on? Back to the game. What's your boy the profit? Hey yo, had to make this quick video for you guys because I know a lot of you guys. Well, you see it right here. Yeah, see it right here in the news. Can't fear your own world, truths, virgins. Hope summons are coming back. So, a lot of you guys are really, you know, like the Shuhei and Hikone as well. And some people want Aura just to have her. Listen, y'all, we're going to go over this banner. We're going to break it down, okay? And it looks like this is the only banner. There's no, like, solo banners or anything like that. So, you got... It's a standard banner, 150. Okay, so 20 steps, so four guaranteed five stars and two discounted steps. So standard banner. Um, gain, okay, okay, okay. This actually is not a bad banner. It's not a bad banner. There are two horrible fillers in this banner. Technically three, but this Yachidu, at least she's seasonal and a lot of people don't have her. Out of the banner characters, or is without a doubt the worst one, unfortunately. Um, do they have their stats and skills? Yeah, okay. All right, so the thing about this banner, right, is that Shuhei stats and skill-wise, just like Or, just like Ikone, are absolutely amazing characters. Shuhei's only real weakness is his second strong attack. Um, it's not a very, very great second strong attack. It's decent. It's not horrible. But it's not your top tier got your second strong attack. So, um, unfortunately, he's not going to get content done as fast as some other units. Standardly. But he is the best heart unit for Guild Quest. He has the nullified melee resistance. He also has the debilitator with weakening on everything, Havoc, Berserker, and he also has the debuff mechanic. So after he hits you with his soul bomb, the first wave of enemies take 80% more damage. It's only the first wave of enemies, so if you kill the first wave, it doesn't, you know, pierce through and continue, right? So Shuhei is without a doubt, I would say the best character in the banner for sure. Hikone, second best in the banner, sword per killer power. The thing is, power sword per killers are so overly saturated. I can show you guys after this, um, after we go through all this, but very solid character. He has the best first strong attack and I would say the best third strong attack possible, but same thing with Shuhei. It's his second strong attack holds him back just a bit. It's a solid second strong attack, has a decent AoE, but the fact that it's range collision means that the damage is broken up. And Power Sword for Killers have literally the best kit in the game with the best first, seconds, and third. So, um, Hikone does have the weakening on everything and, you know, high SP, especially for this time. And 20 Berserker with weakening. That's very, very great. Five second debilitator, double sprinter. And he is going to weaken enemies as long as he has the attribute and killer. So, very, very great unit. Kit is, I would say his kit is about an 8 out of 10. Very, very strong, great strong attacks. Now you get into Aura. It, it, like, if you look at her stats and skills, you're like, bro, she has a guard break, berserker, weakening, havoc. Like, what do you mean? She literally has some of the worst strong attacks possible. The range collision first with very little range in front of you. And her second strong attack is a vortex. And that is one of the slowest damaging attacks possible so she doesn't have a great killer even though nowadays no affiliation killer is actually pretty needed but even with that being no affiliation she still outperformed by characters that were like two years old unfortunately so or she looks good on paper but she's the one that you kind of don't want I was very excited to have this character. I might do a 150 on this banner just to maybe see if I can get Shuhei or Aura because I didn't go in on either of their solo banners. With the past few banners that have been coming out, um, 
this is uh, this is better in my personal opinion. You got Ginzu, who's one of the best premium characters. Period. Weekend, who I could use an extra role of his transcendence, maybe if it rolls defense. But this Kyan, don't want him at all. No Kyan Peppa, okay? This Raruka, I don't have her. I don't have this Halibel. I don't have any of them, actually. Let me actually go check. Let me actually go check. All in all, it's only a nine-character banner. Ginzuru being on the banner, I would say, really, really helps out. You know, Weekin has been around in a lot, a lot, a lot of banners. Okay. So, I have the Ruka, but I don't have Yashiru or Halibel. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, man. Hopefully, if I, I, I don't, my mind isn't made up about summoning on the banner just yet. I just feel like maybe I could throw a 150 in there. As a nine-character banner... Where Or would be new, Shuhei would be new, and the um, Halibel and Yachu would be new. So that's four new characters for me out of the nine. Ginzuru dupes are great. Kenny dupes are great for me at this point. Um, Hikone dupe is like, me. Unless I get like three or four or five. Unless I get four of them, then... I would max transcend them because I don't have any max transcendent power. Sorry for killers. But with that being said, I just wanted to break down this banner. I know a lot of you guys are going to be very excited. This banner does come out, looks like, tomorrow. So um, I might be streaming this. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Join the Discord, okay? And listen, man, if you guys are playing Genshin Impact, make sure you check out my videos, my beginner guide. Make sure you check me out. Just out TV side, Deep Bible 24. Until next time, listen, man, I really, really, really appreciate you guys. Hope to see you in the video, and I hope to see you guys in Discord. I love y'all, but I'm out.